Hello, everybody. Uh, let's see if this stream thing is working. Will Crosby, are you out there? I'm out here. Uh, Jake, are you out there? Uh, for now. Zach, are you out there? What's up, buddy? Uh, and Josh, are you out there? We out here. Got it. Uh, Karen, are you out there? Karen's out here, too. Maggie. Hi, Karen. Maggie, are you out there? Waffle. No, we locked him out. Got it. Squad's assembled. Okay. <laughs> um, you know what? Let me check this uh, stream real quick to see if we're actually going okay. So, uh, sorry for the delay. Basically, the issue was did everything like we're supposed to. I start the streams. The great thing about that five minute countdown is it lets you guys join early, but also gives us five minutes to check the stream, make sure everything's going great. It was not going great. Things were going in and out, dropping in and out on all three services. So now I'm just kind of uh, reworking things, ended up putting them back. Let's see if we're actually doing it here. Take a little peek. Hey, you know what? I think we're good. We're at least good on YouTube. Good enough. Uh, okay, awesome. let's get over to this, this game. Ugh. What are we even playing? What is wow. this? What is this? We're playing Night Steel Republic <laughs> remastered. It's not even a thing. Should be All right. a thing. I'm like calling it. Everybody, let's uh, let's gather at the uh, the main pavilion, um, and we'll do a little show and tell. Um, uh, Jake, I know you're new to the server, so this is this will be a good opportunity to show some things off to you as well. I, am, I have no idea. What, this is the first time I've ever played Minecraft with mods. It's it's eye opening in a good way and a bad way. I feel like a lot of mod packs put too much stuff in it with not enough documentation. Um, but some of the stuff is is really really good. Okay, all right. So we got we're missing. Oh, uh, oh. wow. Missing Josh. So well, we'll just faster. we'll do Josh last. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> Will, <laughs> Will, show us what you've been working on. Uh, I made a computer, a better computer than the old computers. It's okay. Got a terminal. It's got some hard drives back here that you can see. I, we got a 1K and a 4K. Oh, it's a server. It's now, a hard drive bay. Yeah, each one block takes up one bit, and eight blocks make a byte, and so we've got. Yeah. Uh, five gigabytes no five megabytes but you can only have a certain amount of types and all this stuff anyways okay that's working uh i think that's pretty much I, i'm building a, a new like underground place right now uh i've basically been when i've been playing is trying to upgrade um our storage and now i'm gonna route it so like everyone can have their own personal access to it and everything like that Love it. So that's okay. my goal, and I need to make power is my other thing. Cool. Uh, Josh, let's let's see what you've been working on. Uh, so that, I just demonstrated as part of what I worked on, these uh, pants, that, pants that Zach just put on uh, <gasps> without reading the warning label. He's oh, dead. wow. Nope. Half a heart. Oh. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Yeah, so I... <laughs> Did some renovations to the uh, the wizard tower. Oh yeah, let me let me take a look at Boo. Woo! Oh wow, this anti block. That's that's black. So I initially built this out all out of uh, cobblestone. Oh, and you know what? Using that's hard to get into now with the boots that I got on. There we go. I do. Yeah, you like don't have to jump with those boots. You can just kind of walk up. Yeah, I like these elevator. This elevator. <gasps> Oh, there's a devil room I just saw. Hold shift to go down. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay. So uh, if you go to the first floor. Yeah. Uh, you mean the second floor? What the heck? Oh, uh, no, you mean the first floor. Oh, that's the basement. Oh, <laughs> wait. Okay, I'm coming. I initially built this out of... Uh... Yeah, so if you hold shift, you'll go down. And you can so kind of go is, out. Is there, but... is, is there something on the roof that blocks you from going down anymore? Looks like there's a block uh, in the way. Yeah, you won't go down unless you hold shift. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. You just have to make sure you're not like on a side block or something. Yeah, I think it was on a side block. Oh, I like oh, this no. basement. Going up forever. Josh is clearly winning this game. Oh, yeah. This well, terrifying. time. This is really... Well, I, I, I think... 
I'm probably second in terms of time, but I'm just not as good at mods as you are. This is fantastic. Well, I'm also going deep into just this one Thomcraft mod. I haven't really done anything else yeah. at all. So I'm not helping you guys in any way. That's fun. Jerk. Uh, can't see anything. But the way I built this tower was I have this wand and there's a focus mm -hmm. called equivalent exchange for it. Yeah. And uh, e. the way it works is I can pick a block and as long as I have the blocks in my inventory, if I right click on something and turn mm -hmm. all of that in a section to that. That's magic. But it, it is does magic. It, does it use the quantity from your inventory or do you just have to have one? Yeah. So I had to have all this nether... Uh, okay. another rack in my inventory for that to work that and, is like great for architecture though because that way you can like quickly prototype stuff and then just immediately replace it mm -hmm. that's nice uh that's cool i may i may end up asking you to make one of these uh let me get the name of this block one of these arcane levitators for me because oh, no. oh, i was gosh I was thinking about making a flying tower so that we could all, so you can easily get to the top of it and then hang glider to anywhere in the radius. One bad part about using uh, antimatter for your entire building is mm -hmm. you make a hole somewhere, it's kind of hard to see. Oh, yeah. I won't tell you where, but there's a hole in this room. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is it this one? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no, that brings you. That's a teleporter I found. That's cool. But actually, it's just. I thought you I built a portal that, gun. No, I found. Well, I don't know. You know if you can build them. I just found it in a uh, chest. That's cool. So if we want to just go floor by floor, I'll explain what each floor does. Let's do it. So this is my alchemy floor. Mm-hmm. Where uh, this cauldron, I can throw uh, items into that have aspects, and if I combine the right aspects and throw in uh, the last item, it'll turn that item into something else. Oh, that's cool. We're Whereas this uh, is my arcane furnace, where I can turn... Uh, oh, I wouldn't do this. This is bad for you. I want to burn. Now it's yeah. hurting you. Yeah, so if you... <laughs> <laughs> if you put the wrong things inside of it, wrong combinations, and like you have excess that just sits there, it creates something called flux, mm -hmm. which is... like can taint the world. You have to like get yeah. rid of that quickly. So I shouldn't have put a bunch of carrots in there? Tank. No. So like when I hit it with my wand, it turned into that purple goop, and that's flux. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that then you can just get rid of that. that first time? Yeah, that's what the thing where I didn't know what that was at first. So with this, uh, mm -hmm. I just I can put items in, and it'll turn the items into the aspect liquid that I can store in these warded jars. And I put a label on it, then it will lock that jar to that type. So I think right now there are 54 different aspects in the game. And each item has different aspects. Mm -hmm. So if I throw, wow. for instance, uh, I think a gold nugget in here. Or a couple gold nuggets, which is metallum, which is this one up here. Got it. Yeah, I see. It'll it. turn into it in these M blocks, and then I have a golem back there whose sole job is to empty the uh, oh, Alblex. I don't know how to pronounce that, and fill the correct jar. Oh, right now, he's golems. pulling the stuff from here and bringing it up to this jar. How programmable what are, are, the, are the golems? Uh, they're, you can kind of do a lot of things with them. So, for instance, the ones I have unlocked right now. I can have one gather items to pick up item off the ground, harvest. Mm -hmm. So those are the two. That's Meat Sack and Horny Mike outside. One's a gatherer, <laughs> one's a harvester. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Yep. Uh, they can guard so they can actually kill mobs. They can fill chests with other chests, like take, put stuff from here to there. Yeah. They can, or and they can empty, so that's part of that. Uh, and they can click, they can use stuff, so you can have one just click a button. And then you can have them do what I'm doing here, which is emptying these essence jars for the Amblex into the essence jars. Oh, that's cool. And next floor up. Let's party. Ooh, oh, I've been, I was here for this. Yeah, so this is the infusion altar. Got it, Rubik's Cube. Yep. Yeah. So if 
to create some of the cooler items in this game, like those boots that Zach and you are wearing, mm -hmm. um, you need to uh, put the right items on these pillars in not a correct order, but you want to have it balanced because this is a risky thing. Yeah. And you want to have it as low risk as possible, and you do that by creating symmetry. Yeah. Um, so in order to create those boots, I needed to put two air shards, a raw fish, a feather, and two enchanted fabrics, which takes some things for me to make in one of these pillars, uh, pedestals where the dirt and cobblestone are. Mm -hmm. And also, I needed to put in um, the aspects of travel and flight, which I needed to have 25 of that liquid stuff that we just were looking at in the below in those jars in the nearby, nearby vicinity. Mm -hmm. So it draws the liquid into that matrix and then sucks the essence out of the items to create the item in the center. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Because I do yep. like these boots. These boots are good. And later on, I can demonstrate this if we want to make something or if someone wants something. I know Zach wanted a hoe of growth, which I think I can make now. We can do that hey, later. Don't, don't tell them what... what... <laughs> it's for my personal time. <laughs> for that personal What are you stash. growing? <laughs> Uh, oh. This next floor, I think, is the most useful to everyone. Um, mm -hmm. So what this does is a uh, osmotic enchanter. And mm -hmm. Instead of using experience to enchant items, you can use uh, this, which is the essences that are stored in my wands that I gather from those aura nodes that I was kind of showing you last time. Yeah. He's got a lot of wands. Got a lot of wands. Guy likes wands. So do any of you have like a unenchanted piece of armor or anything? Uh oh no! Or a weapon. Out. I have a sword. Yeah, I guess yeah you can sword. use that sword. So I'll put my war, uh, my wand in here, which has a bunch of aspects in it. You can use them all. Well, don't use wand. Touch your sword. And you can just choose what enchantments you want on that sword. Oh, you messed up. I don't know what you did. You kicked <laughs> me out of the game. <laughs> That's never happened to me. <laughs> a fatal error has occurred. This connection is terminated. Got him. Got him. Now you, Zach. <laughs> I'll throw a sword in. Give me my sword back. Wait, what do I do? Do I just so, pick one? Yeah, just click on one of those things, and it'll add it to the list. Yeah, and you'll see how much uh, this it's going to oh, take wow. from each different type, and you can yeah. change the level of enchantment. Oh, weird. Oh, wow. So you can really just make whatever enchanted item you want at any level enchantment. So, hey, for instance... that was my sword. No, I lost mine. <laughs> that was actually my sword that I put I in there. Care. The boots that I'm wearing, the boots of the Traveler, I've already enchanted with uh, Repair 2, Fire Protection 4, Haste 3, Feather Falling 2. Cool. I can... Don't start this. And I think that should be... Yeah, that should be it. All right, so let's all go to the roof, yeah. and then, um, Zach, how about you lead the uh, way, we'll follow. I have not spent a lot of time in this game, because uh, I have a baby. Loser. That's too much. Did you say you are a baby? Yes, I am a baby. Got it. Just Where'd wanted to go? make sure I heard that correctly. There you go. I like this. This is just a cozy little place. Oh, we got a mine yeah. shaft down and then here, the, though. Then oh, the altar of hell. <laughs> Uh, I haven't yet figured out what I'm going to do with there. Mm -hmm. I like it. Um, but I, I'm still kind of in the works of, of getting things up and running. Uh, mm -hmm. My one secret is over here, outside, in the garden. Coming. Well, you're secretly a woman? <laughs> oh, no! These are my, uh, They're awful. my mandrakes. <laughs> you want them dead? Yeah, if you want to kill them. Oh, God! <laughs> what Wait. is going on? Why, Why am, am I, I on drunk? fire? Why am I drunk? Uh, because the mandrakes induce nausea. No! Oh, no. <clears throat> they don't sound awful. good when they're on fire. Oh, this is awful. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Let's plant them everywhere. 
swords don't really work on them. They just dodge them. Oh, this is fun. I just can't right, get him. Oh, no, I'm gonna leave. throw up. I don't want to kill you guys with fire. Uh, I'll move. Okay. <laughs> I'm in a good spot now. Uh, wow. wow. Zach, wow. you want your uh, sword back? Uh, oh, yeah, great. you want to put it in the chest? Oh, that was um, good. So, I'll, so I haven't done much either. Like I said, I'm, keep, I'm keeping it vanilla just because everything's confusing to me. So I replaced these bricks. I mean, there was cobble before. Now it's stone bricks. Uh, I helped expand the power a little bit. Um, Josh built this miner over here, which is awesome. And I've kind of been supplying it with power. Uh, so you can see it's... Oh, it's core. Yeah. Although it's out, of, it's out of power now. Yeah, I just threw that generator over there because we were sucking up the water wheel. Yeah, yeah, for the second one, because with one, it's not enough, but two is just enough. So if you can supply both with coal, it should be good. Yeah. Um, I actually put lava buckets in there, but I guess it ate through it. Um, okay, cool. And then I think that's, I think we're all caught up, right? Nothing, nothing crazy. Yeah. So, so I think what we should talk about is what are some of our end goals? Uh, Will, I know you wanted nuclear, a nuclear reactor and nuclear are there bombs in here? Let's see. I think there's only the reactors. I see nuclear reactor. Yeah, it looks like it's mostly. So you're going to do nuclear reactor, which is going to be a different mod, right? Industrial yeah. craft too. Cool. Um, not that everybody has to have a pet project. Um, any other pet projects you guys want to complete before we call this good? Not that it has to be done today, but just what are some end goals now that we've played for a while? Not really. I'm just having fun. Uh, I haven't, yeah, me too. I haven't I haven't played enough in one to kind of have an end goal. I kind of want to build uh, like a nether portal highway system. Like find some good biomes and then you just go down to the nether, you walk like 400 blocks and you pop out. I do want to make each of you an item that you want from Thaumaturgy. Ooh. Like, I know Zach wanted the Hoe of Growth. Mm -hmm. uh, I also made this pickaxe, which you can test out. Oh, I'll test it out. I love testing out pickaxes. Well, I feel like it's better for the stream. No, I don't think so. Ah, uh, fair. Thom. I want to look up some of this Thom stuff and see what we got. Some craft is a little you know, I, I kind of want to build a... Um, oh, we should go to all the dimensions. How many mm -hmm. cakes? How many cakes are there? It's all cake, right? Or no? Not cake anymore? Wait, What's for what? Not, what are you talking oh, about? Oh, for switch, for change. I'm not sure if that's in this this uh, mod pack. Yeah, for going to the different cake to go to another dimension. Oh, yeah. no. But there are other dimensions. We should try to try to all of them. The um, RF tools... Yeah, uh, it's the applied ener energistics. One of them has dimension, so you can like build a machine that controls its own dimension. Yeah, I see that in RF tools. So Zach, if you right click with that, what the heck? You only have to Does do it, it once. Me? Yeah, it's showing you ore. Oh, oh, oh that's really? so cool. Yeah, you're great. Uh, Ian, where are you? Uh, I'm coming to you. Oh, are you downstairs? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, throw it to me and I'll, I'll give it back to you. Just make sure it doesn't uh, break, because I can repair it when it's on me, but I don't think you guys can. You said right-click? Yeah. yeah, so if you just right-click on a block. Shows you all of the mineable ores. Oh. It will also show you water and lava. But it, is it supposed to tell you, or is it just the dots? It's just the red it dots. Doesn't, it doesn't tell you what they are. It just tells you that they're ore. Or gem or, or whatever. Oh, it what? works. That's pretty neato. And also, when you mine things cool. that turn into like a block of ore, sometimes they'll give you a, something called a native cluster, which when you smelt it, gives you twice the amount that an ore block would. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's cool. Uh, Jake, are you still on? 
I'm here. I'm just piddling around. Okay. I'm a p piddler. Maybe uh, you and I and anybody else who wants to join. I kind of want to build a nether base. Because there was some stuff I needed from the nether. And it's always kind of a pain going in there. But I kind of want to have it so we pop out of the nether portal. And we have like a little place to like heal up and store stuff. And then from there head out. You know what I mean? I do like, I like that idea. Okay. So let me... I'm going to dump a bunch of stuff in storage that I don't need. And then maybe we could just head into the nether, grab a bunch of potatoes and stuff so you can heal up. Potatoes. Okay. I think I'm good there. Oh, you said you had rubber trees, right? Uh... I put a sapling in there that I found called like a greater rubber, or just look up rubber sapling. It should be one of them. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm getting there. Oh, yeah, I need sheep. Do we have sheep? Uh, we did, but somebody killed them all. We not are all sheep. <sighs> yeah, not pointing fingers, but what? we we had two in there, but now they're all gone. Oh, uh, was that? Josh, that was the exploding boots incident, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it was. Oh, really? <laughs> Josh uh, gave me exploding what? traveling boots, and I landed in there, and they all died, and I... Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what yeah. attracts sheep? Besides, um, you know, angles. Isn't it wheat? <laughs> I... I think it's wheat. Sorry. Is it I wheat? Think... Yeah, I think it's wheat. You mean... Yeah. Hey. Uh... What are you insinuating? No, it's definitely wheat. Yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> Where's the, uh... <laughs> Get over picked it. Up, picked up the pickaxe, by the way. I did. Yeah, it's oh, you did? Okay. I just want to make sure it yep. was on the ground. Yeah, I'm letting it just sit there. You're good. Okay. All right, I'm going to head to the nether. I'm going to start I'll building stuff. There one moment. I'm supplying okay. myself. I remember our... our that sounds cute. Nether drop point is is not terrible. But I just want to build it up a little bit. I want to have it drop inside of a house. Okay, cool. Where's all our lead? Did you check the, the output of the furnace? Yeah, I found 10 in there. Should have more than that. Unless I missed. There might be a bunch in the... Uh, oh, I found it. I was, I was looking at two different mod packs. Oh, we got a butt of lead. Sorry, Ian. I was building myself a little house on the outskirts. Oh no, it's in all good. Desert. I'm already in the in the You're nether. allowed to do that. Don't tell me. Mm, is he? I'm allowed to go. You're not allowed to do that. Well, I'm gonna do it anyway. Dang it! There's no winning with you. I need a compressor. Okay. Ian, I'm coming to you. Heck yeah. In the old hell dimension. I went down the old hell dimension the other week and I didn't know what no name do do. What's that? Okay. Yeah, I've got it. Oh, speaking of hell, anybody been playing uh, Doom Eternal? I... Oh, go ahead. I have been playing Doom 3, the mm. superior Doom game. That's. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone said that. Nope, I don't think anyone's ever said that either. I just beat it today, and it's a load of crap. You Wait, you think it's a load of crap, but you've put in the time to beat it? I'm trying to beat every Doom game. Oh. See, we're different people. If a game gives me crap, it's gone. I, it's this gone. game did the worst thing ever, which is constantly spawning enemies behind you. Oh, that's that's bad. Yeah. No, it was worth it. Well worth it. Ooh, oh, party time. We're being fired upon <laughs> oh, oh, great All what right, do you someone, need someone See come gone? back through the 
portal so it can ignite. <gasps> oh, yeah, he... It, I'll get you your hoe later. Yeah, somebody right. somebody on the other side needs to come through the portal. We, we had a oh, mob God. extinguish it. Thanks, Boo. Man. Oh, you know, we could Hopefully use... Please, just make another one. Bring a lighter with you. How you killed this guy? Oh yeah, there's another one over here. I am a flame. Are you fighting gas? Yeah. Yeah, they're just they're like you can How knock you, you can here? deflect this thing back to them. And we're working on it, uh, bro. Oh, Ian said he didn't know how. I was helping. No, I yeah, I didn't know uh, how. <laughs> oh, anyhow. But it made a new portal. So this infrastructure we're building is uh, uh, no, nah, I'll, I'll create it. I'll bring a flint and steel and then create, destroy the other portal. Oh, good. yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you can light the old one and destroy the new one. Cool. Okay. Get yeah. out of here, skeleton. Nobody wants you. Alright, so this is looking good. I don't think we have enough people here to sleep. Yeah, sorry, we're not. We're not sleeping. Oh, what the? How did that do that? Oh, Zach and I are the only two in, in the Minecraft dimension, so it slept. Oh, <laughs> that's great. High five. Oh, oh um, Jake, the one mod that you do have that's fantastic. Not that the other ones aren't fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, try it. Try it elsewhere, though, is if you're mining something just or digging or whatever, just hold down the tilde key. Um, oh, no. And it will, it's called vein mine, so it just destroys. Oh, I do know about vein mining. It, what's the equivalent of that key on a Macintosh computer? T tilde? Yeah, it's the same. I don't uh, see those letters in that order. T-I-L-D? You gotta A? press all five at the same time. I, <laughs> it probably is an alt key. It's the little wavy guy. The function, control, option, or command. Those are my specialty. I, but you don't have the little wavy guy near the escape button? Or yeah, like next, next to, the, to the, one. the one. Is that what that's called? The tilde? Yeah, yeah it's yeah, like the little wavy. Yeah. I'm learning something new every single day. Wow. What's the What's the other one called? Like a reverse apostrophe or something? It's a I'm going to try that. Right underneath all of you. I learned that when trying to learn programming, uh -huh. that it's a back tick because I spent like an hour trying to find it on the keyboard. Uh, trying to find right. back tick. Okay. Oh. Ooh. This looks pretty because good. Because I didn't know. I wrote all my code with apostrophes and they were supposed to be back tick. Oh, Oof. wait. What language were you coding in that needed back ticks? I don't remember. I don't know if it was a language or it was the website I was doing it on only read back ticks. Like it was like a um it was one of those websites that checks your code as you do it. Oh. So I think it only recognized back tick. So I think in a coding back situation tick it was back tick. Hey Ian, you wanna see a shot? Yeah, wait, wait. I'm gonna hit that ghast. Let's do it. Or hit that magma Dude, who's, cube. Who's drinks clinking around? Oh sorry, that's me. Oh, he's nice. drunk again. <laughs> Shelby, oh, maybe, uh, I, I told her, I was like, Shelby, if you're making a gin and tonic, by law, you have to make me one, too. So oh, she brought me Oh, no. I wasn't expecting there to be more of them. Um, Josh, I planted the mega rubber tree. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh, no. Is it like Greatwood style or bigger? Uh, it might be bigger than Greatwood style. Oh, no. <laughs> really? It's pretty big. Yeah, uh, it's definitely taller. <laughs> Oh Wait, wow! Oh, gosh, what the hell just happened? There's murder going on. <laughs> I heard an arrow. Murder and afoot. And then I died. There's been a murder. So, okay. I shot the gas, and then I looked at you, and then it shot. I didn't. Oh, see that. it was like lag. I'm drinking Corona. Yeah, sorry in about case that. You guys uh, were wondering. What are you drinking, Corona? Mm-hmm. How do I claim my nice. items? Too. Oh, dig it. Ooh, I'm on fire again. I'm I like die. that you've been planting all these different types of trees, Will. Yeah? 
Did you see my maple and other sapling over or maple trees over there? Over there? Over there? No, I didn't. You know, if you hold down the tilde key, you can. Yeah, but then it doesn't always do it for everybody, and then everybody gets upset. Come, come, come with me. I don't want to come with you, Zach. Last time I went with you, I was severely oh, no. maimed. Hmm. But these trees are so pretty. They are very pretty. Oh, you know, the other thing I was thinking about doing was doing a um, mob spawner so that we don't have to deal with collecting mob stuff anymore. That's the one thing, like, I understand why Minecraft or Sky Factory has it and we don't. But if we could just set up those machines again. Yeah. And just oh, have yeah, them, man. like, cranking out the tree stuff and the dirt. Yeah, that, that would be a nice middle ground is, like, it it would take you a while to get to that machine. But once you do... You're set. Kind of like Factorio. Man, I yeah. just... I love the crafting system in Factorio. Yeah, that's real good. I'm sure there's a way to automate the tree stuff in this, too. We just, like, haven't gone anywhere near it. Yeah, yeah I, I just be... mean, like, the Sky Factory way of doing it. Be cool. Oh, yeah. This rubber tree is pretty big. Yeah. I'm gonna come uh, look I, at I'm it. Not, I don't think I'm gonna cut it down. I think I'll just cut the little one. I like this big tree we're looking at. Uh, it's over by my place. Oh, Just follow, place follow is. the I'm ugly. This uh, tree is wow. That was rude, Ian. Like oh, an eye of salt. That hurts. I don't... Oh. Yeah, that's, that's a tall tree. I like it. It's not as big as the redwood. But... It's But it's really nicely placed. Oh, we should find the redwood, though. We should find the redwood. I wonder if you can get it. Ask. Can I build something at the top of it? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, if, yeah, if you want to. I'm, I'm here for it. Tree I think knows. you'd much rather have a redwood, but... Don't tell me. Oh, you know what? I, I, we established that. I never showed <laughs> off my very tiny accomplishment, which is that I did these two automated sprinklers. Yeah, they've been working pretty good. They're just pretty, too. Yeah, it's like a constant rain of love and cherishment. Daddy loves me. That's what I called them. Daddy and loves me. <laughs> what? Uh, excuse me, loves me. Excuse me. Um, yeah, so I was thinking about building a, a literally a giant tower somewhere near the town. And then you go to the top of it and you just hang glide off of it in any direction you want. So it's kind of like a, like a quick way to get back to any of the biomes we've discovered. Uh, you can do that with mine. I'm planning on building that thing pretty tall. Oh, okay. Yeah, then that, that'll work. Also, if I just add more arcane levitators, that will bring you up. Yeah, that's true. Oh, you know what? I want to get the quarry going again. Where am I? And quickly, Ian's idea was snuffed out by Josh. Oh, we can still do that, though. That a... No, I think the arcane His levitator works goal. better. His only idea for the stream. I'm just saying, if you build that something tall, I'm going to build taller. Yeah, that's true. Um, I feel like that in a drunken rage. But I'm not sure what I want to build yet. Louder, Jack, please. Literally, everybody here hates you. <laughs> I I didn't want to tell you, but it's true. <laughs> ah, so much gin and so much tonic. Oh, you know what? You know what I have Delicious. been playing that none of you showed up for yesterday, even though I will. It, it was a very successful stream. I've been uh, playing. I watched little bit of it did you i watched a little bit which, I did. which which part did you guys watch uh you were on top of a building and you were going my hands and then <laughs> i disconnected <laughs> that sounds about right i think i spent the entire stream doing that i had okay so i've been playing half-life alex and i had it took me a little bit to get it streaming but i got it streaming and i had so much fun going so slowly in that game because i was touching and picking up and interacting with everything i could uh, and it was just so enjoyable because of that. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a, I thought it was a pretty funny, I, like I walked through this courtyard and there was a car there and I went up to the car and I spent literally five minutes going around and opening the door and sticking my head in and being like, Oh, look at the center console. Look at the seats. Uh, and then slamming the doors closed. <laughs> Jeez. Um, and then I found I a bicycle. And I put the bicycle, I picked it up, I put it between my legs, and then I walked around going, wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo. 
I really was having so much fun on that stream. And nobody watched it. No, uh, we're all busy. Yeah, that's true. It was like a 5.30 stream. Uh, but it was pretty good. It's it's pretty good. I think I'm only like 45 minutes into it, but it's it's polished. I I don't I don't. So a lot of the reviews are people being like, "This is the killer game that VR needed," and it's it's very well polished, but it's not doing anything super extraordinarily different or unique compared to a lot of other VR games. If that makes sense, it's just not an indie yeah. VR game. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So yeah, the best way I heard it was like, mm -hmm. it's. It's just good because it's polished. Like you don't have to worry. Exactly. About yeah. Stuff. I mean, it's. But the other thing is that it's still. It still has room for improvement. Like, like I told you, I was trying to pick up a lot of stuff. But there was. I want to say about half the time, I would try to interact with an item or pick it up or do something with it, and it wouldn't let me. Like it was a static, non-interactable, non-VR object, and it was like, well, that's oh, disappointing. Gosh. That's disappointing. You know, like I was in a space and. Um, there was like bars on the window and there was a, a guard outside the window. So I picked up a bottle. I went to the bars. I put the bottle through the bars, like not clipping through it, but I sque squeezed it between the bars and then I threw it at the guard. It was like literally within the first two minutes of the game and it was a pick up the can moment, right? And the guard didn't react to it. The can just went through his head and it was kind of annoying. It was like, you could have polished that. You know, it, it was like you can interact with all this stuff, but nobody else cares that you're interacting with it. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, it's I mean, it's a good it's a good polished game. I'm enjoying it. I'll probably finish it. I heard it's 15 hours, which is crazy because I can only play it like 30, 45 minutes at a time because of motion sickness. It's bonkers. Yikes. Bonkers. Yeah. Did it seem like good stopping points or no? Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely a Half-Life game. Like, you remember Half-Life, how it was a lot of, like, it's it's very linear, very structured. Not in a bad way, just in, like, a, um, you know, like, you come to an area and you see it from the top first, and then you go down through the chain, through, through these areas, and then you pop back out in a different area, and you're like, oh, I'm here. Oh, look, there's a gate locked. Well, let me go in this house, and let me try something in here. So it's, I would say it has good stopping points, because it's, like, you you can stop at any point you can save at any point and there's there's definitely like chapter loads but there's also within the chapter it's yeah there's there's it's not like non-stop action or anything it's it's definitely a half-life game with a lot of puzzles and exploration and stuff nice uh but yeah, yeah i want to try I'm enjoying it. it trying to get george george has a red oculus red? i mean you I could just buy it. borrow it and then not buy the game because you don't need to wink wink Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Yep. Um, hmm. I, so I may, I may do some more VR streams. The only thing is um, I don't want to do voice chat because I think voice chat would be awful. Also, I'm pretty sure there would be feedback because when I'm doing VR streams, I have to use the microphone and the headphone on the Rift. So probably wouldn't hmm. work too well with voice chat. Um, yeah. And then I want to at least get chat going i think there's a mod that lets you inside the vr game like have chat on your like elbow or wrist so you can look at it um but yeah i'm definitely gonna play some more i may stream some more i just i had a lot of fun with the stream just messing around which i do anyways but like having to talk yourself through it is pretty cool okay let's see oh i made too many of those always my problem in Minecraft. Anyone need bone needles? No. Nope. Uh, What's a bone needle? Hundred and I have two hundred of them. A good name for a wrestler. Bone needle. Oh, you stupid idiot! You're a no bone needle. I I always psych myself out, and I can't remember which button makes all of them, and which button just makes a couple of them. Uh, you make all, and I was specifically trying not to. I like how Josh just like spends thirty seconds trying to sleep. Here we have a code. You guys don't abide by it. Sorry, oh. I was busy working. I, I I stopped carrying my 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 sleeping bag. It, it was just.
too much space. I was oh, not, not informed of any code. I'm new here. Now you're good. <laughs> Rap. Oh, now we're sleeping. Hey, Ian. Mm -hmm. uh, Shelby and I binge watched uh, season two of Formula One. Drive oh, to Drive survive. to Survive. How do? You, uh, what do you think? Yeah. What do you think about that series? Uh, as someone who isn't really in Formula One, I uh -huh. really enjoy it. Yeah, I yeah, think I it does a really that. good job at getting people excited for it that, yeah. that don't know anything about it. And now, so I watched the season one right before 2019 season. And then mm -hmm. all last year, I watched the races, the recaps, and kind of followed yeah. it all. And uh, then, then watching this and seeing kind of the behind the scenes was really interesting. Yeah, it's good Whereas, stuff. What do, you, what do you think about it? Um, I, so I think I think part of it is, and, and you probably notice this as well, is it it doesn't the drama within the season i feel like it only captures about 50 percent of the drama and not because of oh yeah not because of quantity but it, just because it it doesn't it frames it differently um mm -hmm. like it was it last year that can't last year was canada right when vettel got into the vettel swerved across the grass got the penalty and then like yes switch the placards and they didn't show that at they didn't all. show that at all In, and they, they also like yeah. downplayed the vettel leclerc a little bit Mm -hmm. which which was huge all season so it's kind yeah. of weird yeah yeah i'm also oh, I'm, I not, agree. And, and... I'm not crazy about the structure or the pacing of it it just doesn't it doesn't yeah. it feels like it's it feels like it's at 11 the entire time you know yeah it, it definitely jumps around and uh so it's completely non-linear throughout the entire season but it will follow mm -hmm. one team each episode yeah so like yeah something will happen in canada one episode and then like three episodes later something in Canada will happen to a different team and then you have to kind of piece it together be like oh wait that was that it was same different time, time. The, yeah. all that stuff yeah and so yeah no I agree it's kind of confusing and the like the one guy we started Shelby and I started following Lando they oh, didn't yeah. feature him at all. Oh, I know they they really should have they, yeah like he's such a fun like he's so young and such like fun oh, kid and now he's doing all this virtual yeah. Yeah. twitch streaming stuff and yeah. they didn't they, they showed him like once and i was like i was like he's got such a cool like, yeah attitude oh, so speaking and speaking of lando sure. and the virtual stuff so i think it was last weekend uh the australian grand prix they had the not the australian grand prix that he was part of and i was watching his yeah. stream mostly because the the actual like official stream of it was was crap it was super laggy and the presenter wasn't good um, so I was just watching yeah. Lando, which was just his angle. And he was, so he was playing it and he was like, so first of all, I tune into the stream and it's like five minutes before live and he's having his chat walk him through how to turn off windows updates because it kept messing up his setup. <laughs> <laughs> and at this point there's 20,000 people in his chat and they're all just like going through instructions, like hit the start button, you know, type in services dot, et cetera. And, you know. <laughs> and then find yeah. this option disable it and he's like okay okay so then he's like <laughs> the whole time his numbers are climbing he ended up peaking at like seventy thousand viewers which was the number one stream on twitch at the moment like bigger than the the official stream and so uh he's like during qualifying he um he did a practice start in the pits which you've probably seen it where like they, they just want to make sure they know how to like start from a dead stop quickly enough so they just stop in the yeah. pits they do a practice start real quick and then they go onto the track so he did that and the game disqualified him from qualifying <laughs> because really? of it it was like a penalty for like stopped on track and it just disqualified him like right at the end of qualifying <laughs> and he just goes no because <laughs> he was like qualified in like third or fourth place um yeah. And then the race starts, the the race it load the race loads up, the lights go out, and he guns it, and he takes like twelve places immediately, and then he goes, oh no, wait, 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 and he hits the brakes, and he didn't realize there was a formation lap, which is just like a practice lap before the race actually yeah. starts. <laughs> and That's then he, amazing. It was just great because he's That's like, awesome. just like live streaming him from the race, and um, he was like racing against, there was like two or three other people that he was kind of. I don't want to say in the same tier group, but because he started at the back of the pack where he ended up racing against them. And they mm -hmm. were like, they were like other YouTubers and stuff. And he was just like, come on, get out of my way. Get out of my way. And just like screaming. 
<laughs> it was so good that somebody somebody mashed it up with the official feed and that youtuber's view and the official feed is like oh looks like we've got a good battle for 13th and the official youtuber's like i'm racing with an f1 star this is exciting and lando's just going get out of my way get out of my way <laughs> <laughs> it was so it was so good yeah so he's and then i missed they did the the bahrain grand prix another fake online race um this past weekend and i didn't mm -hmm. watch it but apparently on stream like before the race started he called his teammate carlos signs he called his boss at the team he started just yeah, calling called zach yeah, he called all these people, and he's just like, "Hey, I'm doing a Twitch stream. Anybody, you, anything you want to say to the fans?" And they're like, "I'm sorry, who, who is this? What number is this?" <laughs> <laughs> so it's just, yeah, I agree with you completely. It's good stuff. I'm excited for the yeah. season. Uh, I don't know if you saw, but they postponed Baku as well. So the first race of the season is going to be like early June in Canada, as of now. Yeah, that's crazy. Um. I, you know, depending on how things look, I went to Canada two years ago. If it's really the first race of the season and it doesn't get postponed and travel is a little bit better by then, I, I may have to go up for that. That would be fantastic. Yeah, Shelby and I were talking about we want to go to Austria. It, that, that's, mm. uh, that, that would be our dream to go to Spielberg. Oh, yeah. Austria is... I, I went there in um, November. Maggie and I went there on vacation. And Austria is, is gorgeous, especially uh, Alpine Austria. It's, oh, it's, it's yeah. incredible. It's so good. Josh, Josh, I just need to borrow you for a second. Zach, I don't know what a tag log is, but you can't have mine. <laughs> Wait, Wait, does it tell you yeah. that I tried to tag log you? Yeah, but failed. <laughs> so, someone just tried to, to take a tag log from you, but failed. Wait, why? Could I do it to Will? I mean, no, I couldn't do it to Will. Yeah, Wait, you what? can't do it to me. What is it doing? What is it supposed to do? I have no idea. I got doing? Will. I don't no, know what happened. He has me. Oh. What is it? What's a tag lock? Well, this, this will be fun. <laughs> Something to do with witchery, I'm assuming. That or he's trying to launch torpedoes at us. Or is it like a voodoo doll? Oh, no. <gasps> oh, he is doing the witch stuff. Yep. How dare you. I'm just trying okay. to kill chickens over here, and then Zach comes in, and all I see on my message spammed a hundred times is someone is trying to get a steal a tag lock from you, but failed. <laughs> I don't know anything to me <laughs> because I, it it didn't give me that warning with you. Because you didn't fail in the first, you didn't fail at all with him. Yeah, apparently. Jake, I'm gonna come visit you and ask you, how are you finding Animal Crossing? Okay. Do you want me to t wait for you to get here, or do you want me to start talking about it? <laughs> it's okay. We'll just we'll start again from the top. I'll edit that part out. Uh, Jake, how are you finding Animal Crossing? Oh yes. <laughs> uh, no, like, uh, are you liking it? I'm distracted with construction if you're trying to do a bit here. No, it's all good. Uh, Will, how do you find an Animal Crossing? I'm loving it. You know, I got my museum open. Ooh. I got people moving in. Mm -hmm. I'm catching fish. Um, having a grand old time. I sold my turnips today because uh, there's I... a great subreddit for uh, finding oh, people oh, who yeah. have high good prices. turnip prices. I thought they I... were. Oh, I didn't get the turn up lady on Sunday, but I think it's because I'm I was behind a day because I was too indecisive about my name. Oh, gotcha. Uh, Jake, I sold them today. Oh, oh I get you. Okay. Uh, so I sold them for two sixty six a Whoa! piece. Whoa! Isn't well, isn't the buy price usually like a hundred? I bought them for ninety. I was trying to get in on a guy who was selling them for who was buying them for four thirty nine. <gasps> But, oh uh, I couldn't God. get in, and I only bought a hundred, so I only made twenty six thousand. But it's still pretty good. I'm on to my second house upgrade already. I'm rolling in Nook Miles. It's a great game. I a great I feel like I am overwhelmed by the amount of chores. Not in a bad way, just in a I need some structure in my life. I need to figure out what things I actually care about, what stuff I'm going to be doing on a daily basis, first, second, and how to do it in like the most efficient manner. Because right now I just pick up the switch. I run around for 45 minutes, I feel kind of productive, and then I just, I don't want to say I get bored, but I get frustrated, and then I put it down. So I, I need to figure yeah. things out. What's your what's your schedule, Will? 
Uh, I basically get in. Uh, I go see if Tom Nook, because some days like Tom Nook has like an overarching assignment for you to do. Um, oh, so I'll go check true. with him because there was that. There's one day and I didn't do it till like 8 p.m. because I forgot where mm-hmm. you have to build three plots of land for people to move in. Oh. And I was like, oh no! So I got I only got two of them done in time because I was afraid someone. Well, anyways, so I usually do that. I'll check all the rocks. I'll check all the fossils. Yes. Yep. Grab all the fruits. And then kind of like, I don't know, I just like fish or like, I really like kind of pick a task for the day. Mm-hmm. Um, someone just tried to tag lock me and they failed. Um, so I'll, I'll do that. Um, but now that Karen plays as well, I, like we kind of flip flop, like who gets the rocks one day, who digs up fossils. Oh, um, that's, that's that nice. way we're, we're not like uh, stealing each other's thunder. But the only problem yeah. is, like, she can't advance the game. Only I can. Oh, because she's second player. Yeah, I did read a Kotaku article about that today. Which is fairly frustrating. Is it frustrating? Zach, you you dropped the doll. Is daddy it's frustrated? For oh, it I made me. this for you, daddy. Oh. <laughs> more. Do it. Do it. More. Um, uh, Jake, what's your what's your Animal Crossing routine? Um, it's fairly similar. It's yeah, I'll see what Nook wants to do, and then uh, I'll just go yeah, dig, dig up fossils, smash some rock. Um, I just did the thing yesterday of what Will was saying of making sure the three plots are set up, building mm-hmm. your first bridge. Um, but my <laughs> <laughs> What are you laughing about? <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> I tried to get Josh. <laughs> Sending him into the ground. It's so creepy to see that message message appear and not see you until you turn around. <laughs> oh. Uh yeah, so Jake, Jake, keep oh, no. going. Oh no. <laughs> um Yeah, while I die in the floor. Um <laughs> <laughs> What was I saying? Oh, my chief goal in all the Animal Crossing games has always just been to fill out the museum. <laughs> okay, oh, I give up. Yep, yep, I hear you on that. And I was um, watching the giant bomb, quick look. Exactly. Uh, even though, you know, I've already played it for however many hours. Um, oh, no, I'm going to die. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, starting to fill out the fossils in the museum, and it's actually, they were saying, given, like, the soft kind of cutesy... Um, aesthetic that is animal cross i think some of the dinosaur fossils feel almost too hd oh um, and because they are very, very detailed but they are very cool uh when you like can look at them up close yeah I, fan. I i've always been a fan of the museum but i always i i always reached this point where i had a conflict where i was like finding really cool fossils and i was like you know what this would go really great in my living room oh i i do that Did yeah you not watch my animal crossing video and uh you know what honestly honestly i've watched it about 10 times now because it was a test video for an upcoming project and i just had to uh, play it over and over again i did not pay attention a single time that's a, okay <laughs> no that's a that's a bit i specifically talked about Oh and, uh, yeah, yeah. I would I would store them in my house and then give the the rejects to blather. Give the the rejects. That's pretty cool. All um, American. Get out. Um, yeah, I've been I've I've been enjoying it, but like I said, I just got to figure that routine. I almost made a map of my island, but then I think you can move the rocks eventually. So I think I'm just going to. Uh, like figure out optimal placement and then just move things around so i can like quickly farm yeah that makes sense i've read that once you get to a certain point you can move around houses your house and others houses and even um the shops and like the museum and stuff Mm -hmm. okay that's good i i just put the shop and the museum directly behind the main the main plaza for now just because it's easy to get to the main plaza you know where uh nook's tent is yeah yeah bro who's nook thomas snook 
Oh, you Nookie Larry. Short for Nookie. <laughs> it's pronounced Nyoki. Uh, when I was in high school, uh, uh, I started a comedy band I, with some friends called uh, Putin Tang. P U T I N. And. Uh, Wait. Why is we, that funny? Explain. We got in a little bit of a, we got in a little bit of a, 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 a tiff with a. Uh, with uh, the Russian government. No, with a with a teacher on something unrelated, and so she got back at us by getting by complaining to the principal that our Putin Tang T-shirts were sexual innuendo, and so mm. we had our T-shirts. The principal called us in and like. Told us, told us, so what's your band name? Putin Tang? That sounds like Pootie Tang, which is slang for sex. So uh, you're not allowed to wear your shirts anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and you can tell he, like, he didn't want to do it, but he got kind of forced into it because the teacher complained about it. Oh, God. Sounds kind of like sex. <laughs> sounds like, sounds like sex. I've never had that. Sexual. It sounds you know. like it. Oh, who built a little oh, stone no. house in the uh, in the desert? This is nice. Oh, that was my first uh, before the tree. That sounds rough. I like it, honestly. Dang it. I I'm not it lying again. to you. I like it. Honestly. He likes it that way. Honestly. You know it's good when someone has to say, I'm not lying to you three times. <laughs> I mean, really, guys. I'm not lying to you. Honestly. Honestly. Oh boy, oh. this corona's starting to hit. Got a bit of a cough. <laughs> <laughs> I just, See, I want to be clear. If you hadn't clarified, that could also, you could also have just been drinking beer. I have yeah. been drinking Corona yeah, all stream. To hit. <laughs> I am drinking Corona. <laughs> Did I tell you I'm only drinking Corona because everybody was talking about the coronavirus and I was like, you know, it's a great beer, Corona, and I haven't had it in a while. So I went out and I bought a 12 pack. Um, Does anyone still have brown mushrooms? mushrooms? Brown okay. mushrooms? Yeah, I mean, I drink slowly, baby boy. I ain't no alky like you. <laughs> I knew you were going to say <laughs> My dates. <laughs> what did you expect me to say? Uh, that you love me. <laughs> We talked about this, Will. You can't <laughs> lie. It's lust, <laughs> not love. <laughs> um, things are tough out there. You guys doing okay? We talked about this a little bit before the stream started. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Butthole. What we got rid of all your fire plants. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, he's a jerk. Words I can't uh, say on this stream. I honestly, I really like that you're doing witchery because I feel like you're gonna find a lot of stuff just to troll people in it. Oh, it's not yeah. even that. It's <laughs> I just wanted everyone to know that everyone except Josh has been tag locked. What is tag lock though? It means I have got a little bit of your blood. Doesn't even know. You have a little bit. No, wait. I don't think you tag locked me because I was getting the error message too. Tag lock kick. Think Gibson. Tag lock kit, the Ibaner by Ibanezera. Tag oh, really? Kit, dishwashable moss. Ibn it, might, it might have to do with the amount of armor you're wearing. Oh, yeah, that could be. No, so I got you. I twice you noticed, and then you just stayed in the same spot. So I snuck up on you and did it. Oh, that's kind of weird. But like percentage-wise, it might be like how much armor you're, the person's wearing versus so. how yeah. often it will work. And Wait. if you're covered in uh, farm craftery. Where did... Close. Who's running around down there? I Will, is that run. you? Yeah, what do you want? Hold on. Look I need up mushrooms. The... I need to... <gasps> I need someone to witness this. Well, let me witness someone... it. What? Where look are up you? at the tree. I'm looking okay. up. Okay, I'm looking. Oh, did you jump off and kill yourself? No, man. I jumped into this pool. Hey. In lieu should... of the Olympics, I decided that I would do a high dive. We need to get you a hang glider. Yeah, yeah I need a hang glider yeah. too. They're really. I think cool. I oh, put really? one in your chest, Zach. My chest? Yeah. Where's my chest? In your Just house. One take, of your them. take your shirt no, off. Put it in my chest. Uh, Will, your, your poppet allows you to fall from a uh, a height without dying. <gasps> then once? It, no, read it. Then it destroys itself. Oh, uh, once. Uh, I put it in yeah. a 
thing. Where is oh, where's glowstone? Does anyone have glowstone? No, you wouldn't go to the nether with us. No, I went to the nether and got a ton of it, and now it's all gone. We. Will? What? I'm gonna drive to Jersey and smack you in the face if you don't get rid of this stupid cobblestone tower. What cobblestone tower? Isn't this your pillar that you built in the middle of the desert over here? Way over there? Yeah. No, that one wasn't me. I no, I'm pretty sure Josh said it was you, and I believe him. No, I built one really far away that's like three times that height. Because I used it to get all the way home. It was pretty great. You... I gave Will an item specifically to stop him from making those towers. Yeah, but it doesn't work. What do you mean it doesn't work? You're dumb. Oh, it doesn't I work. Know. I right-click on it and it doesn't do nothing. Does it have a charge? Yeah. Did you shift right-click? No, was I supposed to? Yeah, if you hold shift on it, it tells you what to do. Oh. Oh, yeah. Dingleberry. And I can shift right click at the ground and I don't die. Yep. Oh, you know what you guys also missed? Oh, you know what, Zach? You may enjoy this. So, uh, I don't. So, Shift F1, which is an F1 podcast by uh, some of the guys uh, used to be at Giant Bomb and Game Spot. Um, I've been listening to that podcast. Anyways, the Shift F1 listeners have created an unofficial Shift F1 league in the F1 2019 game. And we've been playing uh, the last two weekends in place of the races. So, like, we did Australia last weekend, and we did uh, Bahrain this this previous weekend. Um, and it's it's been a lot of fun. And this past weekend, I streamed it. And out of, I think it was nine or ten people racing, I took first place. Will watched that stream. How good Ooh. was that stream? It was, I was on literally on the edge of my seat. It was, it was crazy. I, I, I don't think it was well established enough, but the previous, I've raced with those guys three or four times before, and I was always at the back of the pack. I, basically what happened was turn one, Drew Scanlon <laughs> crashed into somebody and took out half the field. So it was me <sighs> and like three other people at the front. And I ended up in first place at the end of lap one, and I just stayed there for all 29 laps. And it was nerve wracking because I'm not a good racer. So I could see people catching up to me, but they were like second and third place were so close. They were battling each other and slowing each other down. So the whole time I was like five or six seconds ahead and then just trying so hard not to screw up because one screw up would have put me out of the race basically. And it was, it was like an intense, like 45 minute race, but I, I came in first. It was good stuff. That's impressive. Yeah. I just wanted to call that out to you. I feel like that was a fantastic stream, except for the will. How bad was the audio coming through on the stream? It was. I don't. It, it was like someone had a bowl of Rice Krispies and was chewing them in my ears. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's something. I think I fixed it. I tested it today. There was something really weird with that game where playing it, the audio was fine, but as soon as I started streaming, the audio was stuttering constantly, and it was it was kind of bad. But I was like, I could. I didn't have time to fix it, so it was good enough. I didn't realize it would get exponentially worse in multiplayer. So it was just like hey, 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 the whole time for the entire it like it was literally just cutting in and out like four or five times a second. And it was it was awful. And it was multiplayer, so I couldn't do anything. I just had to sit there and listen to it for like forty five minutes. Oh, yeah, that's it was cool. genuinely the worst thing ever. Um, what are we streaming on Thursday, though? You want to tease it, Will, since you're hosting? Uh, we're, we've already well. teased it quite a lot. We're going to be streaming some Animal Crossing and visiting each other's whoop, whoop. Uh, little homes. I'm excited. What's, uh, what's your fruit situation, Will? What's your fruit? Uh, I got pears. <gasps> Jake, what's your fruit? Peaches. <gasps> Your peaches? But I have apple trees and coconut trees planted, so by Thursday they uh, should be grown. Yeah, I have cherries as well. That'll be good. Okay. We don't what know do you what have Kyle has. I got peaches. Um, I got peaches. I think I just they have peaches. Look, look like people at Nintendo deliberately made them even more butt shape. Oh, I know. Than pe it's... peaches already naturally. Yeah. It's so good. 
Um, so we've been streaming for about an, an hour ten here. I feel like we're winding down. You guys feeling that? I feel it a little bit. I just feel aimless, listless right now. Not sure what to do. Yeah, I'm just working on my reactor, so that's been going pretty well for me. Uh, do yeah, you need... I'm about to make mm -hmm. another uh, boot to the traveler for someone if they don't have them. Will, what, what kind of reactor are we talking about? Is this like RBMK or, or something else? Or... Oh. Is that a joke? Do you want to... No, I'm, I'm asking you about your nuclear reactor. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, nuclear. It's gonna have some reacting going on with it. Okay. And um, you know what happened at Chernobyl? That's like ten times as worse. Do you guys want to hear my? Okay, uh... So when it when it melts down, we're gonna cover it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then neighboring countries will, will detect the radiation and we'll have to admit to it. No, we we won't admit to it. That's the oh, point. Okay, yeah, 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 I got you. Um, so speaking of the Chernobyl. HBO miniseries. Again, you're dying. No, I'm not. I'm actually not getting hurt. This axe is just moving me. <laughs> Ow! How do you like being tagged? Tag, you're it. Tag, you're it. No, Tag, you're I'm, it. I'm using a voodoo dog on him. Um, there. Zach was tagged to death. I, I think this is a good topic to discuss. Here's my hot take on the um, Chernobyl miniseries, HBO miniseries. You ready? gonna be a good I'll one folks way too serious way too serious of a mini series do you want a less serious mini series yeah. <laughs> yeah. okay i think i agree with that take i think i have a valid like i think i have a i think i have a valid point more here. like his hangover 2 material than his chernobyl material no, I think I have a valid point here a bit because there there are moments like the control room moments before the uh, the reactor explodes that are oh spoilers that are hysterical, but they play them so serious that you feel conflicted. You're like, I want to laugh at this, but it's being played so seriously that I shouldn't. But it's Wait, hysterical. Like, you want to laugh at the ineptitude of the. Like, yeah, it's like The Office. Yeah, that, it's it's like Michael Scott in The Office. You want to laugh at how but, ridiculous it is. There's a there's a genre for that. It's called dark comedy. Yeah, exactly. Like it's kind of a dark comedy. But but I I figured it would be nice if they played, they they switched it around a little bit so that at the very beginning of episode one or even the entirety of episode one, it's just a dark comedy, and then things just turn very serious at the end of it, as opposed to, you have these comedic scenes where like the boss is like just being michael scott basically just doing these like ridiculous boss steps where he's like uh sir we can't do, we can't execute the safety test because it's against safety protocol he goes i don't care about safety just do the safety test and it's like that's hilarious right All but a these... lot of that part is also just showing off the like soviet union in terms of how like chain of command worked in terms of like you i can't afford this test not to go wrong so i yeah, need yeah. to go right but no, I, mean, I can't say there's a problem. Yeah, I just mean in terms of how they presented it, they presented it so seriously, but the dialogue was closer to, to dark humor. And mm -hmm. I feel like it would have been better if, if there were moments in which you could laugh. It's kind of like how Shakespeare, even in his tragedies, it's not all tragedy. He has comedic elements to kind of lighten the mood and then bring you back into the tragedy. Whereas the Chernobyl was just like a hundred percent tragedy, a hundred percent of the time. And I feel right. like they, they, I feel like they needed to, to, to dip into some of those less serious moments to make the other moments more impactful. Okay. Yeah. I get where you're coming from now. Cause I've, I've always maintained that Romeo and Juliet is actually a comp. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Um, uh, who needs boots? The fur? Like the boots of the traveler. I know. Oh, they're good. I have them, so I'm good. You have them, Zach. Do you yeah, have I them? Got them. Yep. Will do you still have yours? Uh, do you not? Know, do you not like them? Yeah, they were making me nauseous, so I got rid of them. Wait, Wait seriously? I yeah. just need to make one pair. Um. Uh, Oh, yeah, Ian, do you want to see a uh, infusion? Yeah. Yeah. You and your infusion tower room? Yeah. 
Okay, I'm on my way. No! <laughs> you didn't have your poppet on you. Gosh darn it. <clears throat> I would have saved you. My... Okay, I'm here. Glider fast. So, I filled these two with the essences of flight and motion for travel. Gotcha. Okay. And this recipe calls for one raw fish. Mm-hmm. Uh, a yeah. feather. Got it. Two water shards. Enchanted fabric. And in the center are leather boots. How Don't do you kick, how do you kick it off? Uh I'll actually let you do that. Here. With this oh. uh right click the runic matrix. Oh crap. Got it. Okay. Okay. Zach's making right. the animals blink. So I'm um, right clicking it. Mm -hmm. I clicked it. Oh, nothing happened? Yeah, maybe you have to do it. Uh, yeah, let me try with my wand. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, I wonder if there's like EXP or something like that. Maybe if I, because I created the item, maybe I only, can, only I can use it. I'm not sure. Yeah. Let me toss you your wand back. Okay. That's what she said. What? So yeah, it's sucking the essence out of these jars first, and now it's sucking. Uh, now it's going to be sucking the <laughs> essence out of the items. <laughs> you said sucking a lot. Yeah, I did. Cool stuff. This is. And the problem with this is things can go wrong with it if it's not like symmetrical or just randomly or depending on how high risk the transmutation is mm -hmm. so these items can like explode and get knocked off the pedestal or just explode oh just got knocked off uh oh it's terrifying yep oh it's done now there's the boots the boots and then these are for you oh oh thank you so with those, you can move faster, jump higher, take a little less fall damage, and nice. you can swim a little faster, but not by much. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can jump higher. Please don't shoot at me. Also nice, because it gives you the, like, auto jump. Or it's not even an auto jump. You just kind of walk over hills without having to jump. Oh, yeah, that's marvelous. Oh, and no. it's... It's funny because it feels better than the auto jump in the settings for Minecraft. Oh yeah, right. the auto jump. I immediately turned it off like the instant that patch was oh, yeah. out. Mm -hmm. Like I don't, I don't like this. I don't want this. I don't I like, like this. this. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I want. Where are you at, uh, uh, William Yosef Fitz Crosby? I'm in the Nether, trying not to die. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. I'm going to get rid of the portal. Please don't. <laughs> do you want to... Wouldn't If not? it's still ignited on his end, though, it would just manifest somewhere else nearby. Yeah, that's true. Oh, it would. I never really mess with the portal. I'm too scared of it, honestly. So. Now you're thinking with portals. Or not. Oh, man, this hang glider is amazing. I can't believe I didn't know this existed. Or I didn't know I had one until just now. Um, you Especially know what? with the boots. Yeah. Yes, because you just auto jump. Um, one of the one of the best things about Half Life Alex that I was not expecting is like revisiting the aesthetic of the Half Life universe, in particular, like Half Life Two, the City Seventeen aesthetic, and it just feels. I, I think they're using a new engine for this game, if I'm not mistaken. And it's it's a very good engine, and it just feels incredible being in that space. Like you really you really feel it. Not in terms of like three dimensional depth, etc. But in just in terms of like the the European like Eastern European grungy city. The when the like weird biomechanical flyers take off and they fly overhead. It's 
it's like a great art style that you're seeing that you're revisiting but now in vr and it makes it that much more impactful it's it's pretty good it's good stuff oh that's beautiful <sighs> yeah but it's pretty fun it's tight head crabs are big I didn't know this. Okay, okay. How how big would you say a head crab is? Like like the main section of the head crab, not the legs. How big would you well, guys like guess? Bigger than my head, probably. Like a what? mascot helmet. Okay. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, that's a really good job. Yeah. I've always pictured it. I mean, in in function, it's similar to a face hugger. So I guess I am, I always pictured them like that size. Yeah. So they're they're probably like. Tw I'm, I'm going to say in terms of diameter, they're probably a little less than twice as wide as a face hugger. They're, they're, they're big. They're, they really are like a mascot head. And, and I, you don't really realize that until you're in VR and you actually get like a good sense of size. And it's like, it makes like when a face hugger was on somebody's head, it made their head like 18 to 20 inches wide. It was crazy. They're pretty big. They're bigger than I was expecting. Hey, you. Hey, you. Okay. What, what are you doing, Zachy boy? I'm making this a little more fancier. Okay. I think um, I like Ow, the exploration this? What? of this, but I, 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 I'm just not that impressed with the mod pack. I feel like Sky Factory had a better mod pack. Yeah. Yeah, this is an older one too. Is this? Yeah, and I think it's using like I I said I said this in a chat, not during show, but this is Minecraft like twelve point two, and they're already on like fifteen. Oh yeah, or yeah. Something. But I mean, this is the second version of FTB Infinity. Right, but we were playing Sky Factory four. Yeah, that's which true. gets that worked on a lot more because it's their most popular. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't mind playing Sky Factory in... Can you put the dirt back? The normal. I didn't, I didn't pick up the dirt. Man, this quarry miner is so cool, though. I love it. Yeah, we had that because... Um, actually, this, I think we had that server before I ever met you. Um, we had a server and... The good old times. We built one of those quarries. For the dark times. Oh, I'll the never Empire. apologize. For the Empire. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. Um, I think we're winding down. How about we do a slow yes. a slow Before outro? Done. You say almost done? Almost done. Wait, seriously? Seriously? Yeah, boy. Uh, where are you at? Are you in the nether? No, oh, no, no. I see you at your help. base. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> it blow up. It looks like it blew up. Just a big hole here with all your stuff hanging out. Did it did it blow up? No, the reactor didn't blow up, just the ground blew up. It blew up this chest though. Oh, I don't no, there's No. Oh you know what? I'm gonna go visit Karen's house. Hers is on the jungle Karen's island, up. right? Yes, her house is on the jungle island. And then it, Chris's is, is on the island by itself, right? The teardrop yeah. island. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I think uh, I think at one point, sometime in the future, we'll have to have a community server. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to do one, but I want to do it right one of these days. Yeah. Oh, I found a naked sheep. That's really weird. That is weird. 
weird. Who shaped the sheep? Who I did not shoot the deputy. The wa watch oh, I started watching the Watchmen. Is that uh, good? Is it? Is it good? Yeah. I, I'm yeah, gonna be honest I'm with really you. Enjoying it. That's Damon Lindelof, right? I mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I know. I hate Damon Lindelof. See, that's the thing. I am very wary. But very I've heard wary. that the series is is like not at all doesn't end in just like oh well, they were uh, dreaming all along. I feel like uh, apparently L didn't Lindelof also write uh, Prometheus or he co-wrote yes. it, and that movie is trash through and through. <laughs> So you know, like what? Ridley Scott hasn't been trash recently. Uh, yeah, but what I'm saying is like Lindelof is not like a producer on something like the writing in that movie was awful. So I'm I that's why yeah. I'm like very very wary. Um, yes, well I I have thoroughly enjoyed my couple episodes. Okay, maybe I'll hey, start watch the whole thing. thing. We thought it was I think it's like eight or maybe ten. Yeah, it's eight know. or nine episodes. Yeah, I'm on episode three right now, and it's just it's just really good. I'm also I've basically been on quarantine since the beginning of December or the end of December because having a baby with paternity leave and then going to work back to work for three weeks and then uh -huh. this all happening. Uh, anything entertains me. <laughs> Got it. Very easily entertained. Um, so I see. I'm I'm hesitant because. Uh, Lindelof for me is a lot like uh, is a lot like Christopher Nolan, Christopher and Jonathan Nolan, where I think he's just really overrated, just massively overrated. So I'm wary. Yeah. Like like uh, in a, in another time that I've been had recently is Westworld. Did you guys watch Westworld? Yeah. 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 Man, not a good show. Not a good show. Really? Uh, I really yeah. liked the first season. The I, first the, season I liked. First season was, I was just like by entertained by the second season. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't mm -hmm. watch the second season. I was like, I wasn't impressed by the first episode, and then it just kind of got like worse from there. Um, mm -hmm. and and I have I've been slightly following, and it sounds like it's just gotten like <laughs> weirder and worser. So it's one of those things where I'm very wary of Watchmen because it kind of falls in the same camp where it's like, it's like. HBO triple A television by somebody that is well regarded by a lot of people um, mm -hmm. for their past legacy projects. And I never really liked any of it. So I'm very wary of Watchmen because of that. Uh, but maybe, maybe I'll give it a watch. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I enjoy yeah. it. I did finish Gundam. Well, okay, so there's like literally like 40 different series of Gundam. And I finished Oops, I grabbed some stuff there. I finished the third episode, the third series. So there's Mobile Suit Gundam, which is from 19 I think it's like 1979 or something. And then there's Zeta Gundam, which I think is early 80s and then I think there's mid to late 80s is Double Zeta Gundam, which was not great, but I just finished it. So I'm kind of going through Gundam series. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm getting a little worried because none of them have been that great so far. <laughs> and granted, some of these are supposed to be like objectively bad, but at the same time, uh, some of them are supposed to be good and they're not good. So I'm kind of just like heavily committed to this series and it hasn't really proven out yet. You guys ever had that feeling with the series? Don't, don't light yeah. my house on fire. Oh, no. What are you guys doing? It doesn't light box on fire. Okay. <laughs> wow, y'all going at it. I Wait. put quicksand outside of his house. <laughs> I look over. He's just by his house crouching and laughing. I, I, was, I was jumping up and down. But honestly, I put that there like 10 minutes ago. And... Just all of a sudden, I was just standing there, and I turned and look and see you leave. It was perfect. Time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy! How much health were you at? I don't know. I'm not quite sure. 
Mm. How do you put it everywhere? Yeah. For a monster. Will Will's super pissed. He's just quiet and not talking about it. Yeah, that was really annoying. Hey, uh, just so you know, Zach, I can make fire that you can't put out. So. Just so you know that I wear pants. <laughs> it's <day>. cool. <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> Remember how the screams of the innocent still haunt me. Um, so what lit you on fire? Oh, you put your own grass over here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ow. That's stupid stuff. Well, yeah, should we? I, we had a community vote. <laughs> we got rid of it. Well, I had lit yeah. myself on fire probably thirty times walking to and from like my house to the main area, because it, uh, it was right there. Yeah, it was never meant as a feature. It was just a troll. <laughs> I, was, I didn't want to get rid of it because I didn't know if you needed it or not. And then finally, yeah. I went, right, I'm done with this. Yep. Um, I got my little bit over here. So, Will, how close are you to uh, Reactor? Uh, like two minutes. Okay. All right. We'll keep we'll keep streaming. I've got a I've got to jump off. Baby has awoken. Okay. And I just got to go deal with it. So, have fun. Have fun, okay. guys. Bye, Zach. Bye, Zach. Uh, you don't have to, you don't have to uh, hype me up on the, the after chat, but, you know. Oh, we can mm -hmm. sleep. <laughs> All right, um, see you guys. Bye. Bye, Zach. Uh, so, so, Jake, I'll, I'll pose the question to you then. Uh, have you ever had a series mm. that has been hyped to you that you found very underwhelming? Um, I've had movies. I can't oh, yeah. necessarily think off the top of my head tell television series it's been i think movies high. qualify you know what i think i've got something we'll disagree on I i'm kind of the type of person where it's like let's introduce controversy when things get slow maggie and i watched okay. knives out recently uh-huh uh maggie liked it i i did not like it i i uh i think i did it felt pretty it, it seemed like a pretty pretentious and not not particularly well written movie <laughs> Oh, it's definitely pretentious. Yeah. Um, I, I enjoy the right. I feel like the writing is almost Cohen esque. Um, I think it's trying to get there, but, but I, it's but it's like Lady Killers, where it's 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 too uh, indulgent. I've not seen Lady Killers. Lady Killers but, um, is like it's like if the Cohen brothers, it almost feels like a first draft, uh, after a late night smoking pot, where they're just like, mm. we've got this, we've got this, and then they just write. They overwrite. I mean, he didn't make it that long after Star Wars, so I don't know how long mm -hmm. he actually spent in the drafting process. But I think I enjoy it because you can tell that there's a lot of passion behind it. And even when stuff is maybe not yeah, I can see as that. close to the mark as it would want to be, if you can tell that like all the people involved are having a lot of fun with it, I will typically still enjoy those kind of movies as opposed to people trying to make some really artsy thing and then it's like misses the mark and it just seems like people were trying to make an artsy thing but didn't mm -hmm. necessarily care about it yeah yeah um, i could see that yeah yeah i, I definitely agree you could I, definitely feel the passion and and i think it was well i think it was well shot and well edited but mm -hmm. in terms of just the storyline i was I, I i don't think it really carried it well enough i can i can see that but i did i did enjoy it um, but anyway, sorry for the interruption, but you were saying movies that you felt extremely underwhelmed with, uh, going in with a different expectation. Yeah. Well, I know a lot of people, it's interesting that Ridley Scott was brought up earlier because I know a lot of people who went to see the new alien movie with, uh, mm -hmm. Resurrection is Covenant. That? I can't remember what the subtitle is. Um, but alien five or six or whatever it is. Um, a bunch of people saw it like opening weekend and we're like oh yeah it's like ridley scott back in form blah 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 oh, no i just did not like it it was so it's boring that reminds me i i do but need to watch to that Fassbender make out with himself so that's something oh boy i i i want to watch covenant i want to hate watch it which is not it's well, not that, a nice thing to say that's what that's what it was yeah resurrection's the third one i'm sorry Covenant yeah. is the most recent one. I I want to I want to hate watch it, which is not a nice thing to say. But Prometheus was so bad, but I saw it in theaters, and I could I may have written a review on Prometheus. I can't remember. Yeah, it was a but bad movie. I I was laughing when I was watching it because of just so many, you know, like the uh, just just the part where the guy 
they walk into the the ancient compound and the guys like oh look i've got drones it's gonna they're gonna map the whole complex for us and the drones go off and then three minutes later he's like i'm lost i don't know where we are and it's like what are you doing <laughs> it's like why would you the assume? guy whose theory was proven correct but the aliens don't happen to be alive is upset yes and in a deep depression or that jesus was an alien um no that's known no oh yeah that's true that is known i shouldn't have been that's surprised by that mormonism um or the um oh there's so many good moments oh where there's they're like this is it's like it was like what year 2100 or something and they're like this is the biggest most expensive ambitious spaceship man has ever built and they're saying that while they're sitting inside of a full-size basketball court inside the spaceship and i'm like you can't you can't try to be realistic and serious while also having a basketball court in your spaceship. Like that's not serious or realistic at all. And it Sometimes was Sometimes you just got a ball, man. It was it was just I like but I I enjoyed watching it because I was laughing at it so much. Um and so I I may end up watching Covenant simply for that reason. Mm -hmm. um, I have to fact check myself again. I said I originally said Alien <clears throat> Resurrection when I meant Covenant, and then I said that Resurrection was the third one, which is also incorrect. Resurrection is the fourth one, fourth. and then it was Prometheus, and then Covenant. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, Alien vs. Predator, come on. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, AVP. The non-canonical, or the, the apocryphal alien film. Um. So, the, you Very know, the thing, about, the thing about the Alien series is I don't, I'm not a big fan of them, and I think it's because... I don't really like horror movies, and I think it's because they're more horror than sci-fi. That's why I'm not crazy about them. Nothing against the movie itself. It's just it never really grabbed me like it like it does other people. Yeah. I I, I don't know. I, I think the world building in those movies is top. Oh, top. yeah. Yeah, I love the world building. I, mean, I just, I just I'm not crazy about as horror. They go on. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Alien's the best, and then uh, Alien is better or not better than alien but it's like it's if good we're going from like genre 10, 10 down to one yeah it is a totally different genre which i think was necessary um mm -hmm. in order to keep the story going um any other any other movies jake or anybody else that you have like uh, uh ian this is the reactor right off the top of my head that's it yeah boy it's not that's all, all you've done thing. yeah that's all you've done yeah. Bad boy. Ow. Uh, what? But we got to figure out how to do uranium ore. Yeah, that's what I'm working on. Because we have the ore, we just don't know how to process it. Um. Okay. So maybe maybe we'll end it here then, and we'll come back after you've got ore. It won't be on Thursday. Thursday's Animal Crossing, but we could do a stream yeah, boy. Either, either next Tuesday or you know earlier than that. We'll see how it's going. We're in quarantine. We got a lot of different people. Uh, streaming stuff. I'm definitely going to be streaming hopefully on Sunday the race. It's going to be uh, the uh, Shift F1 unofficial racing league uh, in F1 2019. We had a lot of fun this past weekend. Um, Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern is Animal Crossing. Uh, let's let's go around the horn and get some uh, get some promotion going. Will, where can people find you? You can find me on Twitter. At Hunt270. And Jake, where can people find you? Uh, on Twitter, at underscore J Terrio, uh, which look up the spelling somewhere on our channel. I'm not going to spell it out right here. Gotcha. Um, and on SoundCloud, Jake Terrio Music. Ooh, fancy, fancy. Uh, Josh, where can people not find you? Here. Not find me here. Got or it. anywhere. Uh, and you guys can yeah. find me on Twitter at Think Gibson, and you can find more great subpixel content at subpixelfilms.com that takes you right to our YouTube channel. You're going to find uh, most of our streams, at least our primetime Tuesday, Thursday night stream archives, as well as fantastic videos. Uh, we had one come out just this past Monday. Normally, I would talk about it, but the creator is here. Jake, how about you talk about the uh, latest uh, video from the Spotlight series? Um, oh, yeah. So it's uh, on the history of the canceled fourth doom game that was the the groundwork for what became doom 2016 and then some of the elements that they may have taken and used in doom eternal 
That's exciting, exciting stuff. Uh, we also have the Iceland documentary that uh, recently came out, Isolation Game Jam, where we had a bunch of, uh, we being the four horsemen of Subpixel, we went to Iceland for five days to film uh, Isolation Game Jam, where it's a bunch of uh, 16 game developers kind of gathered together, game developers, artists, creatives, and created games uh, based around the isolation they felt in the literally in the middle of nowhere in Iceland. Fantastic doc. Uh, you can find all that at subpixelfilms.com. You can find subpixel PR tweets, social shenanigans, etc. at subpixel team. That's the handle. Platforms are Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Medium, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, we've got a lot of good stuff. I would highly recommend giving us a follow at least on Twitter, preferably all of those platforms. That's where we tweet about upcoming content like this stream. We teased it earlier today. Uh, and that way you get to know when the stream is coming. I'd also recommend following, liking, subscribing, any and all of the above. Uh, it helps us out greatly. Whatever platform you prefer, Twitch, Mixer, YouTube, any and all of the above. It does two things. Number one, it tells us that our content that we've made is good and that you like that particular piece of content we should make more of it and two it tells youtube that our content is good and that it should show it to more more people um but that's that's you know that's that's pretty much going to do it for us here um any parting words going around the horn will parting words um to air is love and to love the air is good uh josh parting words uh as always hail satan <laughs> jake parting words i don't know. just follow your state and local guidelines in terms of what we're supposed to do during the shelter and play oh, gotta bring it down i'll bring it back up hey catch you on the flippity flop bye bye uh oh that didn't work let me hit the stop streaming button again